Good evening, and it's once again time for another Haywire video. Tonight's video is by request. I've had several customers ask me about what to do with a microwave that has rust damage in it. And we have one tonight that has some rust damage in it. And the customer brought it to me to do the repair, so I'm going to share that repair with you tonight. First thing we're going to do is take the platen and the dolly and hub out, set them aside. And then we'll turn the microwave upside down now that all of that's out of the way. It's no harm to the microwave to turn it upside down. You can't hurt it. You just want to be gentle with it and make sure the door is closed so that you don't uh, twist the door or anything. And then we'll open it back up and do the repair. Now that it's upside down, we'll open it back up and do the repair. I've got a light handy so we can see inside and to save time on the video I've already taken the time to do the the preparation work to the rust spots. In this case um, I used the regular pocket knife and scraped away all of the loose chips as best that I could and then the next thing to do if, if you have access to a Dremel with a wire brush attachment or if you have a hand wire brush, I use the Dremel with a wire brush attachment similar to this one. And uh, wire brush the areas that have the rust damage or flaking paint so that all the paint is removed and all the rust is removed as best as possible and that the, the base metal is clean and dry. So from that point, the next thing we'll do is actually do the repair and I've selected a product that you can get from uh, most home centers or um, stores such as Walmart which is a uh, universal Rust-Oleum scratch and chip repair made for automotive repair and the nice thing about the Rust-Oleum products is they're rust resistant so this is an ideal material to do the repair with so now it's just a matter of taking the time to actually brush the product on there and do the repair. Once the material has been applied, you'll want to leave the microwave open and allow the product to dry for 24 hours before you use it. To make sure that uh, you don't have any solvent fumes or anything actually in the unit that's going to get into your food or um, could uh, potentially cause any kind of a hazard with operation of the microwave. So this just takes a few moments to, to get a nice clean layer of paint on the areas that you're doing the touch up. And uh, simply let it dry. Make sure you get your paint all the way over to where you've got a good overlap on the existing paint so that there's no way for steam to get back in there and, and uh, continue the process of any more paint lifting or peeling. Um, it's a good idea after you're done cooking, especially if you've created a lot of steam, to just leave the door open for uh, several minutes and allow the cavity of your microwave to dry out. And that will help uh, slow down the process of uh, rusting and prolong the life of your microwave. So now that you've, you've actually seen the process done, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. And uh, that's all there is to it. 
and then after it's dry you can turn the microwave right side up again and put the uh, the driver and the dolly and the platen back in and you're back in business if uh, this video was helpful and you would like to see this or any other videos on any further topics on microwave repair just uh, hit the like button and uh, send me any comments that you may have and I will see what I can do for you. Have a good evening. And if you'd like to subscribe to this series, uh, I'll probably do several more videos on other parts of microwave repair until I've pretty well covered everything that there is to do on it. So if you'd like to subscribe, we welcome you to do so. Have a good evening. This is Haywire. Goodbye.